Hey guys, welcome to No Thanks Netflix Part 2. In this video, I'd like to read a text message to you that was sent to my cell phone in October of 2018. But first I want to say something about the last video, about the No Thanks Netflix Part 1 video. I commented that besides Cindy Watts, that the only people under attack are people who are true true crimers and who have been in the true crime community for many years. And I pointed out how odd that seems comparing the case of Christopher Watts to the cases of Jody Arias or Stephen Avery when we also did witness attacks going on that were obviously organized and evil, those attacks were against people who were actually involved with the cases themselves. And in the case of Christopher Watts, we don't see any of those attacks going on. Nobody's attacking the character or credibility or integrity of any of the police officers or the defense lawyers or the prosecutor or any experts who have been involved with that investigation. Nope, this time around, the attackers are attacking true crimers. Well, in that video, I neglected to mention NK. And I want to go ahead and include NK also in the attacks. Besides the true crimers who are being attacked, there's also Cindy Watts, of course, who has been under attack since day one, and also NK. And I want to point something out. The attackers are always saying, stop slandering a dead woman when there is no such thing as slandering a dead woman. And at the same time, the attackers are actually slandering those of us who they're attacking, including those of us in the true crime community who have been targeted to be attacked and Cindy Watts and N.K., so I think the irony is just kind of interesting. Now, I want to read you this text. It'll take me just a minute to find it. I keep telling you guys, I'm not computer savvy. I keep proving it to you pretty much on a daily basis. But it doesn't stop all of the stories, does it? from the attackers claiming that I'm somehow the mastermind of a bunch of different channels and a bunch of different profiles. Like, yeah, right. Okay, I found it. This text was received. It was sent to my cell phone on Monday, October 8th, 2018. At 11.42 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And the phone number that it was sent from, well, I'll just tell you the area code, 704. And the text reads, Brenda, I would really suggest removing any book you have for sale on my family. I'm going to interrupt this just for a second and explain. I had just uploaded an opinion essay on the case of Christopher Watts. It was titled Presumed Guilty, the case of Christopher Watts. That's what I do. I discuss true crime cases. It's a hobby. No big deal. And I write opinion essays on different true crime cases. A lot of us do in the true crime community. So I had just uploaded the essay titled Presumed Guilty, the Case of Christopher Watts. And in that essay, I wrote about my opinion regarding how the mainstream media didn't seem to be remembering to use the words accused or alleged before using the word murderer.
in the United States at that point in time, with the way our laws are, Christopher Watts was actually presumed innocent. Yet, the mainstream media kept calling him the murderer. So that's what my essay was about. And I uploaded it in the first week of August. Or, not August. Ugh. I uploaded it in the first week of October 2018. And very soon after I uploaded it, I received this text message from the 704 area code. I'll start at the beginning again. Brenda, I would really suggest removing any book you have for sale on my family. We have investigators all over you. This is your final and last warning. I will fight you to, and then it says they. I will fight you to they, very last core and strength I have. Keep your nose out of stuff you don't belong in and get some class. You think you know everything, but you know nothing about this family and you've been wrong. I will contact every family member you have and I will expose who you really are. I do know you. Two hours, get off! Exclamation point. I just want to say, if there are any Netflix producers listening, that this text that you just heard, in my opinion, is an actual example of harassment. Just saying. 